Sometimes you need to hollow your prints. I just got into resin 3D printing. I'm new to this, but from what I hear on forums, on Reddit, is that you need to put some holes for drainage because you don't want resin to be trapped inside. It can start seeping through and sometimes it can explode. The resin gets really hot, creates pressure, and it comes out. It has to come out somehow. So it's better you make the holes for it to come out than for it to come out by itself. So I put six millimeter drainage holes because I'm planning on putting in some LEDs in there, some UV LEDs to cure the inside of the prints. In order to cure the inside, I bought some of these. This is actually an UV LED. Um, it comes with a positive and a negative lead. And this is a nine volt battery connector. It also comes with a positive and negative lead. It's actually pretty long, as you can see here. And you don't have to memorize any of this. I actually, I will show you how to make the connection, how to solder these. This LED itself, as according to the specs, is nine volts. So no need for any resistors in the circuit. As far as I understand, your, mile, your mileage may vary and take any precautions. Do a little bit of research on your own, obviously. But for me, it's worked to be nine volts. What I have been using as my main soldering iron has been the Pine 64 Pine Soap. This will run you $40 on Amazon. It comes with the main body and the pencil or pine saw tip pretty easy put it together there's a screw here that you tighten in order for the tip not to come out you plug in a power supply which is not included I'll put a link in the description of the the 65 watt power supply that I was able to buy that actually worked for this and you also need a USB-C cable that's rated for 60 watts for this to work to its full potential. Turn this on here. You turn the temperature up and down with these two buttons. You can also do certain things with the firmware. This will heat up in 10 seconds. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description for this also. This pretty simple connection. Just connected the leads at the end and it's just as simple as connecting a 9 volt battery in here. And as you can see, the LED lights up. You insert it inside the print. And I left there for 10 minutes. And I have more than one in, in here, as you can see later on in the video. I have about six of these. I was, a, I was only able to fit five in here. But I have six that I created. And it's a pretty simple connection. It's a, simp it's, a, it's a very simple soldering job. So the first thing I did, I tinned the tip. And then I tried to solder the negatives. And then I tried to test to see if there was any solder or if the solder was hot enough. I'm not sure. I, this is stupid. Don't do this. Don't be like me. Don't be an idiot. I actually do it twice. You'll see in a minute. I'm going to do it again. So here I am doing the positive. And I do the same thing. So here I burn myself. <laughs> Don't do this. And then I tin the uh, positive. And that's basically it. And then I try to put a little bit more solder just to make sure that it's uh, on, but it's not going anywhere and it's making a connection. The second one I made was this this has a little switch you turn it on and the LED comes on the way to connect this switch is the two negatives go on one end the positive for the LED goes on the opposite end and the middle is for the positive for the battery I put hot glue in the middle as to not make a short circuit Okay, so here I'm using some helping hands to uh, tin the switch. So tinning is basically just uh, putting solder 
onto something before you actually solder or make the connection with something else. So I'm putting some solder in there just to prep so that the wires have something to latch onto when it melts the solder. And I do that to every prong. There's some good YouTube videos that you should watch about soldering if you've never done it before. So here I grab the 9 volt battery connector and I grab my wire strippers and I strip it because I want to get a little bit more wire to solder onto so that it makes a really good connection. And like I said before, it's just a matter of the negative goes on the far end, the negative for the battery goes on the far end, and the negative for the LED also goes in the far end. Just heat it up, let the solder melt, and then just let it cool down a couple of seconds, and that's it, connection is made. And then the positive for the battery goes in the middle of the switch. Same thing, melt, make the connection, and then wait a little bit till it solidifies, and that's it. And here I'm grabbing the LED, and again I'm stripping because I want to get a little bit more wire. And both negatives go together on the same prong. Make sure you hold them tight because sometimes they get loose and then you'll be having this dance where you're going to have to reconnect one because the other one disconnected. So just be careful with that. So now it's done. And here I'm being a little bit more safe than I was before. And that's because I burned myself enough. I think I'm good. So here I'm connecting the LED positive to the far opposite of the negative of the prong of the negative. And that's it. So just take a look at this circuit so that you have an idea of what you got to do next. And here is just a matter of putting some hot glue on the prongs, on the connections, just to shield it from any type of short circuiting that you don't want them to touch. And here I'm basically explaining how or showing how I go about sticking all the LEDs inside the hollowed out torso. This kind of looks like a Weapon X. If you, if, you, if you read the comics, you know what I'm talking about when they're injecting Wolverine with adamantium. Kind of looks like this. And it's just a matter of connecting the batteries. I mean, listen, resin is caustic. It can burn your skin. And prolonged exposure can actually, on some people, um, make them allergic to the resin. And I want to be printing with resin for a while, so I don't want this to happen to me. That's why I'm taking all these precautions. Okay, now that you know how to make these, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're a continuing subscriber, thank you for your continuing support. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a like. Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Peace.